I've been helping neighbors now who saw, right? They've watched us transform our story. They've watched this. And and I do want to say, like, it's not about, I'm not about, like, getting more and more and more. Like, that's not, like, my heart. And I really want that to come across because, you know, I lost my mom in, you know, in 2021. And um, you can't take any of this stuff with you, right? This is so fleeting. So but it's more about what is done for my vision and wanting to help other people and the freedom. Um, yeah, we have a bigger space and, and we want to use it to bless and welcome others and to do some business ideas and things that we have. But my still heart behind everything, right, is to live. Mm -hmm. We only have one shot to live and to impact people along the way and to bring hope and different possibilities and open up mindsets and shift maybe somebody who feels stuck, how you can move past that. You know, you were that cry for hope that we were looking for, um, really were that cry for hope. And I, I know that there are people, that's why I know I have to teach this yep. because there are people just like me who are like, what are we going to do? We might have to short sale or foreclose on our home and they might have a home equity line sitting there. I, if I don't tell people, I would like, I just couldn't, it was like, I couldn't keep this down. It just felt like it yeah. has to come out of me wow. because it's going to help people. Right. And I felt like when I was suppressing it, like, I, you know, like in 2019, I was like, oh, I think I want to teach this, but mm. I didn't have the confidence at that time to be online. Mm. I have had to go out of many comfort zones. And the way you go out of your comfort zone is by action, by action, little action. So those little reels, every time I do one, it's not super comfortable. <laughs> this is not, you know, I'm getting more comfortable, but I just had to say, I don't care. I don't care anymore because this is this somebody needs this message it's not yeah. about me you are right? a prime and prime example of just hitting the red button on the phone and just recording because i've seen the content i've i've watched <sighs> and i'm like oh yeah she is winging it right now and i just love it because your yeah. your ideal client out there that that other mom that other you know husband wife out there like they also don't care about all the aesthetics they're like what the heck is this lady talking about HELOC dead eliminate like her story oh my god we're around the same age same situation I was in a short sale or I'm about to face for and she's telling me there's a solution and a way to get it done and it, it, it it's gonna look rough because they're in a rough situation so to them it's nothing it's like hey as long as I can hear what she's saying <laughs> like I'm taking my notes you know and so that's just mm -hmm. amazing of what you've been doing over the last couple months just getting the content out there and it was a it was a calling on on my part to start planting seeds in some of my clients that at the slightest hint were like i think i want to teach this or you know i can't do what you do denzel or i'm like whoa 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 whoa, whoa. let me let me lean in a little bit more here because this person is is illustrating characteristics that i was illustrating and now i'm at a point where it, it can't just be me saying all of this information i need to actually build up some leaders in my community mm -hmm. with and the clients that i'm working with to say listen yeah. i need you guys to go out there because you guys are actually more credible than me i've never had a mortgage i've never been in a short sale mm -hmm. i've never had a foreclosure i've never even owned a HELOC before. I, I've never had any of these things yet. All these people are coming to me mm. for it where they really should be coming to my clients for it that lived it, have had the stress and overcame that stress and got spouse on board, got the kids on board, made the vision board. I mean, all this stuff. And I'm like, God, hey, however I can leverage my platform for my audience watching right now, like this is a call for leaders, you know, and you're one of them and you're out here you know, showing and having workshops at your house and doing trainings, one-on-ones. I mean, this is just insane. And what I you love about so it, I love the ministry about what you're doing as well, because yes. you're like, look, yes. we're generating income over here, passive, and it's feeding the lifestyle of how I want to intentionally live and impact these other parents or, you know, whoever your ideal client is. I think it's women, certain types of women in mm -hmm. situations that, you know, want to 
you know, really come out of their comfort zone and be them, be their full selves, you know? So what were you going to say? Yeah, I was going to say, um, I kind of lost my train of thought, but with, when my mom passed away and I think I shared this with you on another call, but yeah. I had a very, um, spiritual encounter where we'll just say I was challenged to go back to the last time that I truly felt gratitude in my heart. And I was transported right back into the room. I had never been in a room. I've lost several dear people that I love, but I had never been in the room as somebody's transitioning from here to the next life. It was some of the most holy, sacred ground I could ever have had the privilege to be a part of. And in that moment, when I was transported back in the room with my dad and my sisters, my mom, this time, she her body was on the bed, okay? <laughs> but she was healed and whole and in heaven. Like I, I, I don't, you know, I've never been there, right? But, I, but she was her healed and whole self. And my mom, you know, bless her heart. Like I just know that she wasn't truly free to be herself here on earth, just from some wounds and some trauma and some stuff she went through where she held back a lot. And I saw her as her vibrant, full, healed and whole, just embracing herself. Like I, I don't even have, it's hard to even put into words. And in that moment, what she said to me is she said, Amanda, you have to go for your dreams. There is nothing to fear. And see one of my dreams, Denzel, like you just don't even know how much this has been in my core was to teach this kind of stuff to people about finances. And once I found Velocity Banking, like this is what I want to teach, but I didn't have that confidence. I didn't have that um, thinking, oh, and I'm a teacher. So it sounds kind of <laughs> weird, right? Because I teach right. students every day, but it, it's, mm -hmm. it's a different type of thing to put your vulnerable self out there. Like I can go teach my third graders math and reading, you know, and I love it and I love what I do. I'm still doing that career. I teach special ed and it's just, it fills me up every single day. Um, but I kept suppressing this desire oh but I, I can't do youtube or oh my gosh i don't want to put myself out there what are people going to think or who would even want to you know all that stuff that we feed ourselves all that negative chatter right and i suppressed it and i in this moment it was literally like something shifted in my whole core of my being when my mom came and spoke that message over me it was like the validation i needed it was there is nothing to fear. Who cares what people think? If it's helping, if it's helping somebody, it's going to help somebody. Um, and and I just got over myself. I don't know how else to say it, but yeah. I'm, I'm, I don't care. Like I'm, I'm going to not be perfect. I'm not going to say mm -hmm. everything perfectly, but that's the authentic piece that I was always drawn to you about, right? And that's where I'm still learning. Like if my YouTube videos aren't perfect, who cares? Like I hope people resonate with my heart and my spirit yeah. and what my heart behind what I want to do is teach you how to run your money differently to bring freedom to you and your family. That's my, that's my passion and my heart. And since I have not suppressed it, I can't tell you like the life and the joy and the opportunities that come and the people I'm attracting because I'm not suppressing my calling, right? I'm letting it flow out. And now it's like people are coming and, oh, yeah. and I'm putting myself out there, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but even so, like, this is just so cool. Like my principal came to my training. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my wow. Principal. That's <laughs> he cool. would have told me like, yeah. that I'd be teaching my principal a concept. Like she's amazing, you know, and she's one of those down to earth. You don't feel like, like she just, she's just an amazing leader, really amazing leader. Just think um, about, but I thought, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, think about like that preparation, 2019, watching videos from some kid from somewhere you never even heard of never like never we haven't even met in person yet right like just total no, strangers total strangers 2019 all this preparation how how god holy spirit the father is is prepping you to now be able to speak to people that you may not have felt qualified to speak to in such an an authority position where you're now talking to your principal the principal has to come down to the to the teacher level. They have to become a student again. And here you are, a teacher. I mean, this had you not done all that pregame work, right? We talk, you know, I talk a lot about velocity banking pregame work, but there's more pregame work yeah. in terms of your business and planning and all this, the, the mindset. So had you not done 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 
to now having your principal come. Had you not done all that, she would not have been blessed with your gifts. She would have looked the other way and who knows what financial position um, they would be in. And, and whoever other clients you're working with now, like they would have not been able to access mm -hmm. your gift had we not done all that pregame work. So there's another, another call out to the people watching this that have you know stayed this whole entire time listening to other people's stories like yourself to say, you know what? You're right, Denzel, I gotta, I gotta step this up. And then these people know exactly who I'm talking to. I'm talking to exactly the people in our group uh, that are trying to become coaches as well, just like yourself, that haven't started their YouTube channel because they're worried, um, or you know, uh, you know, what do I talk about, or you know, uh, which should be the first video? I'm like, just record it, g get it, get it recorded, and I promise you, we can, we can, um, you know, post it out once you've looked at everything. But the point is to start. You, you know, we don't even necessarily have to put it out there just yet. But get the material recorded, documented, uploaded. You can you can unlist it and just have it stored in your studio and just get enough footage until you're like, OK, I'm ready, you know, but you're never going to be ready if you don't. If you don't do it. All right. right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have to take the action, right? It's like mm -hmm. you can sit and then this is where I was stuck because I was just sitting for all these years. Like once I got this concept, I was like, this is what I need to be teaching. And then I'd be like, I would get this close to I have, I can't even tell you how many journals, journals oh. and journals of like what I want to talk about and things I want to do. And then I would just suppress it. And I'd be like, oh, mm -hmm. oh I, I, just, I would just start to believe the, you know, believe all the thoughts the negativity mm -hmm. the no 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 and but it was like what i realized is i can sit there and nothing's going to happen right you have faith requires action you can't you can't oh. just sit and do nothing mm -hmm. right you have to take a step and so that's what i just said i'm going to take one step okay then i'm going to take the next step mm -hmm. and so like i just put this challenge out for the month of march this is what you're talking about on my instagram channel and i just made a commitment to myself just to myself every day i'm gonna do okay we're in march madness so i called it money march madness and i'm like every single day i am making a 31 day commitment to post something every day about finances or about my life something like that i love it and there were days where i was just like i don't feel like doing this today <laughs> you know like I hard news about mm -hmm. end or you know just real life was happening this is not what i want to do is put myself on camera right now but i made that commitment right and i just said it's the small little steps then i also in that same month had two velocity work workshops at my house now i only had like one i had two people one i had four you know and to me sometimes i can get hung up on like well i don't have a million followers or you know it and that's where i just have to take a step back you know it's one step at a time yeah i'm planting seeds right now and and to me it's about who can this impact more so than how many people can i have follow me you know i think that's something that people could get caught up in as well right it's like well i don't have that many followers well i don't have that many followers but that doesn't mean you can't make an impact even if it's a small number you could be changing a whole family tree <laughs> like that's a huge impact that could go on for like you've helped change our family tree right Mm -hmm. I mean, and so it, it's not always about the number of people you're influencing. It's about the impact you can impact. make in the people, but you have to be willing to go out of your comfort zone. So that would be my challenge to anybody on that fence is go. It's not comfortable. I'm not going to say it is, but the more you do it and you put in those reps, you're going to get more comfortable. And I have a lot of growth to still do and a lot of things to, to get better in but oh, yeah. I'm putting it out there and I'm not suppressing it anymore, right? I love it, I love it.